Continuing our coverage of wildfires across Louisiana, state agents have arrested a woman for allegedly setting several fires in Rapides Parish, which caused flames to spread over a parish to Vernon. News 10's Jasmine Dean speaks with the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry about the arrest. Laura McLaughlin of Pitkin, Louisiana, has been arrested and charged with four counts of simple arson and one count of obstruction of justice after intense wildfires spread throughout Rapides and Vernon parishes, burning over 7,000 acres of wood and a home. You know, we had strong suspicion uh, early on from the beginning of these fires that they were arson based on at, at a minimum of four separate ignition sources simultaneously. Dr. Mike Strain with the Louisiana Department of Agriculture and Forestry says Rapides Parish experienced intense wildfires that burned for several days. The fire started in Rapides Parish but then raged into Vernon Parish, burning over 7,000 acres of forest. He says his department made an arrest based on a tip they received. The arrest was made based on a tip in connection with the Highway 113 wildfires. Fire crews with the LDAF and the Plainview Fire Department were able to get the fires under under control but are still monitoring the area. Uh, they are more than 95% contained and the difference between control and contained is we have fire lines around them. We're continuing to monitor fire lines but since there's a lot of debris on the ground from Laura Delta and in some cases Ida, they will burn up to a month. Strain says over $2 million worth of timber has been burned and the cost to fight the fires has totaled almost $3 million. McLaughlin was arrested and charged with four counts of simple arson and one count of obstruction of justice. Her bond is set at $25,000. Strain says it's difficult to fight multiple wildfires at once due to the resources and the amount of firefighters needed, but they were able to get the fires controlled. But uh, at the height of the fires when they were all burning, we had over a thousand firefighters on the ground uh, fully engaged in battle. Strain says if McLaughlin is convicted, she could face up to $15,000 in fines and 15 years in prison, as well as restitution of up to $5 million. Jasmine Dean, KLFY News 10.